Hi friends, today's lesson is for module three, lesson 20. You know what I was thinking about last night? We are so good at measuring the length of items. Hey, let's use length and comparing and do a little comparing of lengths. Our learning goal for today says, I can compare lengths using more or less. So today we're gonna to do is we're gonna find two different lengths and then we're gonna see which one's more and which one's less. Are you ready? Perfect. All right, so our first dice has how many dots on it? Can you tell me? Excellent, three. And our second dice that I rolled has how many dots on it? Five, perfect. So next to it, you'll see some counting beads. I'm gonna go ahead and color in a bead, one for each number on the dice, and then we will talk about how we can compare them, okay? All right, so the first dice has three, so let's go ahead and color in three. Count with me, will you please, friend? One, two, three. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to color in for the five. Count with me, please. One, two, three, four, five. Now I know I didn't do my best coloring in, but you can still see to compare, right? Sorry, I was having a little bit of a scribble scrabble kind of a day. Okay, so let's see if we can finish the sentence. Because remember, I'm comparing the links. I want to see if they're more or less or what's going on. So for this sentence, I wrote blank is more than blank. So which number is more than the other one? Excellent. Five is more than three. How do you know, friend? Yeah, the great thing about links is that you can compare their links really quickly. See, three goes here, and that's the same as all of those, and then I have two extra that weren't colored in. So I can clearly see that five is more than three. Great job. Let's try another one. All right, so for this one, we have two and six. So let's go ahead and color in our link for two. How many of the counting beads am I gonna color in, friend? Excellent, two. One, two. And how many am I going to color in for six? You got that right, six, go ahead and count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I hope that you can tell which one is longer automatically. Man, I love using length because you can see it so quickly. All right, let's see if we can finish the sentence. Blank is more than blank. What would you fill in for that sentence, friend? Great job, six is more than two. How did you know? Yeah, look how short two is compared to, whoa, six. Look how long six is. Now, friend, I have a question for you. How come I didn't color in one bead down here and then go to the other end and color one bead down there? Why would that probably not be the best idea? You're right. Remember, endpoints are very important when you are measuring length. So I want our endpoint to start and then go in order from there. That way I could click, quickly see how long something is. Great, I'm glad you remembered about endpoints. All right, let's try another one. All right, how many counting beads am I gonna color in the top one? Excellent, four. One, two, three, four. And how about the bottom one? Great, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, do you see which one's longer? Careful, oh good, good job. All right, now be careful because last time we were talking about which one was more than, but look at this sentence. Blank is less than blank. So we're gonna start with the smaller or the shorter link first. Blank is less than blank. How would you say that sentence, friend? Oh yes, which one was the smaller one? Four. And that means that five is longer than. So I would say four is less than five. Friend, ooh, challenge. Four is less than five by how many? How many more would I need to add to four to equal five? Oh, I can't even get you. Yeah, one. See, if I just colored in that one, it'd be even Stevens. Good job. All right, let's try another one. All right, my first dice up there is what number? Great, five. One two, three, four, five. And how many are I coloring on the second row? Great, three. One, two, 
three. Okay, I'm not going to help you on this one. Blank is less than blank. What would you say? Oh, good. Be careful. Remember, blank is less than, so we're going to say the smaller one first. All right, ready to check yourself? I would say three is less than five because look at three is so much shorter than five. You can see that clearly. Remember how we use our strategy of like connecting to see what's the same? If I did that, I would say this is the same, this is the same, this is the same. Oh, and this is where it starts being different. Do you see that, friend? Yeah, these two are not colored in. Great. All right, so three is less than five. How many is three less than five? How many would I need to add to three to get to five? Perfect, two. I need to color in this one and that one. Then they would be the same. Oh, friend, you are so good, which is fantastic because our learning goal said, I can compare links using more or less. And you did an amazing job, so well done. All right. Oh, I have a spinny dice for you. All right, so this is what I would like you to do. I want you to go ahead and color in the counting beads to show those two numbers. Now here's the deal. You don't have to draw the dice and you don't have to draw any extra beads. You can just draw the beads that you need and make sure they're colored in. Then I want you to tell me, finish this sentence, blank is more than blank. All right, and then send that on Seesaw. All right, good luck, friends.